Yeah, I was on the way back from the homeless church, right? And um, and I had got the groceries and I had done some laundry, and um, I heard some some yelling. I'm like, oh, what is this? You know? And I and I go, I, I kind of look up the corner, and um, there's a a guy. The police have put this guy in the back of the police car, and he's just probably drunk out of his mind and just screaming and yelling and there's a woman I mean you know it's dark she looks sober to me I don't know I wasn't up in her face I don't know but as I was walking past to figure out like what's going on here you know carrying my groceries and my laundry you know um, I um I overheard her say something about bipolar disorder. Well, I know so many people with bipolar disorder. It's a nightmare to live with. And I'm just like going, oh my God, oh, this poor woman. This guy's got bipolar and blah, blah, and like they were fighting in the car, blah, blah. you know, so I'm like all over empathetic. So I'm getting closer and closer because I'm like worried that she's going to be going, right? You know, and um, and I haven't been able to say, oh, I'm your friend. You don't know me. But, you know, shoot myself in the foot. And, um, and the police officer was really mad. He's like, do you know this woman? What are you doing here? Please leave. And I'm, and I'm like trying to explain to him, right? He goes, if you don't leave right now, I will arrest you. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I'm like going, oh right, I have a brain injury, I'm not talking very good right now, uh, this is what I'm thinking, you know, and I'm standing there, and he's like, okay, that's it, drop your stuff, and he cuffs me, <laughs> and, he, and he puts me in the, in the squad car. <laughs> Did you have to go to jail? <laughs> no. But he puts me in the squad car, right, and I'm like going, Shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> Did you lose your stuff? No. Uh, oh, thank God. No. I'm hanging on Tinder hooks here. <laughs> so anyway, so anyway, um, so he finally fishes. I mean, like he didn't have enough on his hands, but then I, I got to muck up the works, right? Taking care of and gets and gets the guy in, the, in one squad car and gets her in the other squad car and gets them off. And so now he's got to like finish up the report and stuff. And, and here's tons of my pile of things just laying there on the sidewalk, right? So he go, he's like, you know, and you can see that I keep everything tied to me because I have memory problems. I cannot go to the bus stop and set something down because I will go off without it. So everything is tied to everything else and he can't just pick up one thing without everything like dragging behind, right? So he's trying to strike, he's struggling with my stuff to get into the car. And um, and he opens the car door and suddenly I remember that there are eggs in there. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, oh, there are eggs in there. Oh, there are eggs in there. I don't want you to mess up the squad car with the eggs. He goes, you have eggs in here? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I have eggs in there. And he's like looking at the bag. What does he find? Clean folded laundry <laughs> and groceries. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> If, if it was true that sm steam came out people's ears, he'd probably be, you know. So anyway, so he, he, he wrangles my stuff into the back seat and he gets in the car, he finishes his paperwork, and he's like not talking. <laughs> and so I'm like, you've already shot yourself in the foot, please don't say anything else. <laughs> you have holes in both feet now. <laughs> he finally starts driving off and he's telling me, he's giving me, a, you know, a typical lecture of like, you know, you don't know anything about these people. You don't, you don't know if they could have weapons. You don't know. You know. He, uh, so anyway, so what the ticket that he wrote said was, uh, I think it was impeding an officer or something like that. And um, and so you know he gave me what I felt was a reasonable lecture at the time, <laughs> and and took me down to the. To the, he was actually a, a highway patrol. He was actually, so we went to the highway patrol thing, 
and and here's me and all my stuff right and everything's all tied to each other right? and so you know and he had, you know and I'm in cuffs so he has to take everything out of the car and bring it into the office so so he, he gets me in there and then he goes and gets um, another patrol officer for a witness so that they so that I can't say anything bad happened and um, and then they uncuff me and then they ask me to like if, take off all my jewelry and empty my pockets I can't get my ring off of course you know and I'm you know um, so I'm setting everything down and um, and I guess because I was just like cooperate I was just like you know trying to cooperate whereas apparently earlier I was not um, you know there I guess he was like okay she's got groceries <laughs> like, like, like like what could be her ulterior motive here you know <laughs> With all that dangerous laundry yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, she might throw eggs at, at us Ooh, I'm scared <laughs> Did they take you back to your place? No, no, uh, I, I didn't want them to have to do that. I because right there was the bus stop that that goes like within a block. So it was it was uh, you know I just, I just kept assuring him I have a I have look see I have my bus pass I'll just go on the bus because I was going on the bus from a different direction so it was like it didn't matter.